Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Now I've had the Neural DSP Quad Cortex for about a month and a half and I've gone through all the different amplifiers. So I've worked out the internal amps that I like and the internal amps that I don't like. But what we're gonna do in this video is to set up an 80s style Marshall tone. Now let's start from a blank patch. The first thing I like to do with any patch inside the Quad Cortex is to set up a noise gate. So let's do that first. I'm gonna to go to block one, push the plus button. Let's go down to the end and go to utility and just choose simple gate. And that's really all we need to do. The settings inside the simple gate work perfectly. Now, the next thing we need to do is set up an amplifier. Now I'm gonna leave a space in between the gate and the amplifier as in a minute, I'm also gonna add an overdrive pedal. So let's go to block three and let's choose an amp. Now, as I said, I've been through all of these amplifiers and for me, the Marshall Plexi 100 patch works perfectly for this sort of tone. I'm not gonna adjust anything inside the amp block yet. I'm just gonna add a cab afterwards. As we want an 80s style tone, let's choose a Marshall 4x12. So we go down to the 4x12s. The one that I really like is this cream back one here. So let's choose that. Now, so far, this sounds like this. So it's a great tone without actually adjusting anything. But let's go back into the amplifier block. I'm just gonna turn the presence up a little bit and let's turn up the gain on gain one and also on gain two. So there's my basic patch. Now, if you've seen this channel before, you'll know what a fan I am of reverbs and delays. So I'm gonna to go to the last block. I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna add a reverb. Because I'm creating an 80s rock style patch, I want a modulated reverb, which is something like a lexicon. Let's click modulated. So that sounds like this. So as you can hear, we've got way too much reverb and way too much decay. So let's bring the decay down to about 2.5 seconds. And let's bring the mix back as well. So we've done the reverb, let's have a look at delays. Now, if I click on the block before the reverbs, Let's add delay. Now, again, because we're making an 80s style patch, let's choose digital delay if you want a really bright sounding delay. So that sounds like this. We've obviously got too much mix and the delay's a bit slow. So what I could do is to tap tempo this delay to make it quicker, or I could just change the sync note. Let's change it to 16th. <laughs> On this, I do think the delay is a little bit bright. So let's bring the low pass back to about 2K. So there's my basic patch, but I think we can improve things a little bit by one, adding an overdrive pedal, and two, adding another speaker. So let's do the overdrive pedal first. Let's click on the block between the gate and the amp. And let's choose overdrive. Right, again, because we want an 80s style sound, let's choose Brick Governor. Now this is an emulation of a Marshall the Governor pedal. And actually I'm not gonna change anything on that so I'm really happy with it. At the moment I've got one cabinet with two microphones on it. What I'd like to do is to have another cabinet so let's click the block after this cab. And I'm gonna choose another cab. The cabinet that I've already chosen has got cream backs on it, which is a more smooth sort of sounding speaker. It's the sort of speaker that I put in all of my cabs. But what I'd like to do is to have a more focused speaker. I'm gonna choose a two by 12, like a Mesa Boogie style cab. So let's go back to the two by 12s. 
And what we've got here is this 212 CA Recto V30s. Now these are V30s. They're gonna be a little bit more of a focused sound. But let's turn off the original cab. So this is the new cab. And this is the original cab. Now I can't run one cab into another cab as it would sound awful. I'll show you what I mean. So what I'm gonna do is to get hold of this cab here and to pull it down to the next line. And I'm gonna set up a parallel line as well. So let's just drag this across. I've got the splitter, I'm gonna drag it after the amp and the mixer before the delay. So now that sounds like this. Now lastly, what I'd like to do is to have a bigger stereo spread. So I'm gonna to go to this cab here. So this is the original cab and I'm gonna pan this all the way over to the left. And let's go to the new cab and let's pan this all the way over to the right. So now we've got one cab on the left hand side and one cab on the right hand side. <laughs> Now we get this really nice stereo spread with one cab on the left hand side and one cab on the right hand side. Now what I'm gonna do is to upload this patch onto the Neural DSP cloud. So if you've got the app, you can download it from there. All you have gotta do is to search for the studio apps. Now if you've got something out of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the studio apps. I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.